Okay, so what I've done with my electrical system, I've set it up on a beautiful plywood board, and I highly recommend that because it makes laying out things much easier, and you can take it out if you need to take it out. You secure it to the sides with some screws, which you can remove easily. Now, when I bought this thing, it came with a very basic setup. You can't see it in the camera right now, but basically it came in with um, the AC charger. It came in with, um, what, is, what is that? That's a dual battery isolator to protect the engine battery from the house battery. And of course it comes in with uh, 240 volts coming from outside. So after purchasing the van, um, I added some solar panels to the roof. I got a separate video on that one. Basically I got two panels up on the roof and that comes in the energy of that comes in and it actually feeds through this uh, circuit breaker. So the solar panel goes in here first, the energy from the solar panel before it goes into the solar charger. So this is the solar charger and the solar charger control, you can control it through these two buttons if you like, or you can control it on the panel, uh, the, the external panel that I use. And uh, so of course the charge from the solar panels then feeds off into the battery. You can't see the battery here because it's hidden underneath. So I've got a single, I think it's a 200 amp um, lithium battery uh, underneath. My wish list is to get another one. That would be just great. Uh, but so far on just that one battery, I've been able to leave my fridge running all the time. It's not a huge fridge, it's a medium sized fridge. And uh, I just got that running non-stop for the last six months <clears throat> but I haven't gone into winter yet so I'm not sure how things are going to do with reduced sunlight but basically every morning I wake up and uh, if I check my uh, my juice level I'm about two two bars or three bars off the max and that usually charges up by well, around noon it's fully charged again so uh, no doubt about it no doubt about it and absolutely no regrets going down the lithium path because it charges really nice and fast. So that's really good. Anyway, coming back here. So that's going off to the battery. And um, I've got the positive lead from the battery coming off this master switch. So if you're wondering why I'm, I bothered to get this, the reason for this is even if I were to turn off the power to, um, I'm not sure whether I can demonstrate this, uh, can I demonstrate this? Okay, I'm gonna turn on the lights. Okay, the lights are on. I don't know whether you can tell that the lights are on. So if I turn this off, the lights should go off. But you notice there was a little bit, bit of a flash, but the lights didn't go off. And the reason is the lights are now being powered from the, from the sun solar panels. So if I go ahead and flick this switch down, that's when all the power goes. So basically during the day, I need to flick both of these guys off if I'm going to get any uh, power cut happening. Okay, so this thing here is my inverter and it's a 2000 watt inverter with a surge of 4000. Um, that's that's strong enough theoretically for a, a microwave, your average microwave. And I've got the power coming out of this one and that goes straight into this uh, power point here at the side. So when we need 240 volts off of the battery, um, I go ahead and press the, the switch on the panel that I have out there. This comes on and it feeds this thing here. So I can, in theory, run my microwave off my single battery, but I wouldn't do that because that's too much of a strain. I only should do that if I've got myself another lithium iron battery. So let me get back to some of the other things of my setup. I've got, I love this. It makes it, uh, this is my, this is my, my negative, this is my uh, negative patch uh, bay. What's up to the lights? Here we go. Um, oh, 
Alright, my lights, I have another light here. I'll make I'll do a show, I'll do a separate video on how this light works. It's pretty cool. Anyway, um, so yep, so all my negatives are in here. My positives are here. Together with that, I've got my fuse box here. That's my little fuse box here. Uh, before that goes out to uh, all the devices that I have in my van. Okay, now the other really major part of my setup is my my voltmeter. Okay, so I just absolutely love this capacity indicator. The top part um, represents the amount of amps you have remaining. So you can set it, uh, you can program it to state how much amps your battery carries at its maximum. For an example, let's say you've got a 100 amp battery, just for example. So it keeps track of how many amps you're using. So if you use, let's say, 50 amps during the day, then the bars will reduce by 50%, uh, indicating that you've used up half of your battery's capacity. So it's like a fuel tank indicator in a way. Um, the other figure here, of course, is its voltage. Um, and um, now that you see the negative figure there, it means we are currently using up more energy than we are getting from the solar panel. So what I'm going to do now is just click on, hang on, I've lost my screen. Let's get back here again. Okay, so if I press um, one of these buttons here, uh, okay, now it's telling me how much current I'm using. So I'm currently using half an amp. I'm currently using half an amp. So if I were to turn off whatever I'm using, whatever lights I'm using, let me try and do that now without losing the screen. Keep an eye on the screen there. I'm gonna just turn off the lights now. Hang on. Where are we? Okay, we've turned off the lights. Okay, so we've turned off the lights and now something else is happening. You can see that it is now starting to flash. The whole screen is flashing and that's telling us that there is now a net positive uh, close to one amp that is going in from the solar panel into the battery. Um, and, and you can see also that the bars on the battery are moving from left to right. That, that's telling me that um, uh, the battery is almost full. It's almost full bars. It's one bar short and it's currently charging. And when it gets full capacity, um, then it'll stop. It'll just be a steady, steady look. So this is, uh, this is an item I purchased online and I highly recommend it because it's very reasonably priced and uh, it's been working for um, close to a year now and it's really quite good in my electrical setup. Okay, so my electrical setup uh, video finishes off with a quick shot of my um, switch panel. Um, there's a nice switch panel which came with the van and it's fused and the lights tell you when things are on or off so not too bad as I was saying earlier I leave the fridge running continuously 24-7 um, never seem to run out of juice with uh, the solar panels on the roof uh, so that's been running for maybe, maybe about 10 months now uh, quite successfully